Like other types of black holes, supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies can't be observed directly. However, through the use of the Webb telescope, scientists were able to study the gas around this black hole. This gas gets hot as it moves around it, and this is what caused the scientists to study it. Through these techniques, scientists were able to study the different wavelengths of light that were absorbed by an object. By determining which wavelengths of light were absorbed, they were able to identify what made the object. One of the tasks that the James Webb Space Telescope will be involved in the first year of its operation in space is the study of the supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A. Scientists are very interested in the jets that break out of it from time to time. Located in the center of the Milky Way, Sagittarius A is about 4 million times bigger than our sun. Despite its massive size, it's still about a thousand times smaller than the supermassive black hole known as M87. Although it's technically possible to take a photo of a black hole, it's not possible to take a picture of its actual structure. Instead, you can only see the glowing ring around it and the shadow of the black hole in the center. A black hole has a powerful gravitational pull and it will constantly pull material and dust into its orbit around it. When this material gets hot, it starts to emit radio waves. Through the Event Horizon Telescope, which can detect radio waves, astronomers were able to identify this material's bright halo around the black hole. James Webb Space Telescope took a close look at our main black hole of our galaxy. The black hole is unthinkably huge. While no telescope here on Earth can take a photo of a black hole directly, what we can do and what James Webb Telescope did was simply to take a photo of hot and bright gas that surrounded Sagittarius A. Maybe one day scientists will be able to take a direct picture of black holes. Sadly, this technology isn't available today. But who knows, maybe the new telescope that scientists are working on will be able to detect direct images of it. After all, it's all a mystery. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe or click thumbs up. Thank you.